All right. So we've made a new agent and we're ready to download it into the environment. We've done that here and we will now install it once we take the registration key to the clipboard and we can go and start the install process of the agent within our source um, image SS1. And we'll just double click it. As you can see, it's an SW setup there, which is where we store a lot of things. Now, reminder, this is a hybrid agent being installed locally, just like AADC syncs things to the Microsoft Cloud. This agent syncs things to the on-demand cloud. So you need to list out like the example, your full domain of this environment, which is source three dot local. And the global catalog server is your first image. It's P365 dash. S it's a uh, go over to the image there real quick to double check the name because it's not the same name as in display, which is a good warning to tell everybody in the recording. Dot source dot local there. And then administrator at source.source3.local. All right, this is, you had the key already on the clip um, board, so you can bring that in there now, and then bring the registration URL next. This is how we do type text from anywhere to in the environment. And this is the API key you need to make a session to our platform. And now the URL, the service URL, which comes from the page also. You just clip that. Sometimes you'll see acronyms like CDS. That basically means Cloud Dersync as an internal code name of the product line. So you might see that in logs and URLs. CDS is Cloud Dersync or Power 35 Directory Sync or On Demand Directory Sync is the new name. And we'll go with a system account, but you do have the option to do managed service principles. Of course, the reason why it's asking this a second time is this is the account you need to grab SID history information from the source domain to synchronize into our cloud over to a target. This is optional for those security scenarios where you don't want to do a trusted migration. You might want to do trustless migration. But in our case, we're going to do a trusted migration. So you'll want to add all the same credentials you used before here, since that's the same enterprise admin account that was there before. Instructor's note, please understand the add account button has to be clicked here after you enter the credentials. In this video demonstration, it wasn't done and we had to go back and correct it. And since we only have one domain, we don't have to check the box, but you can, it doesn't make any difference. All right, so now it's installing the package and um, everything gets stored into the registry under HKLM software um, quest level, and you'll find all your stuff encrypted under there that the agent installed just in case you need to redo it. You would just blow that section out and then start the setup again. In an upgrade, it won't ask you for all these things. It'll just upgrade the software, auto upgraded agents. So now you have it installed, you can go back to your web page to see its status show up. If connectivity exists, so 
So we're going to hit the back button. And you can see the connectivity does exist. It says status online on the agent. So you have successfully installed the source environment and the source agent. 